Hi, I'm Jenna Freeman. I am a senior here at UW-Madison studying rehabilitation psychology and special education and Jewish studies. And I love photography. Um, well, I'm from California and um, I decided to do something different. Um, I was really looking for a different experience because I don't take for granted the fact that I can go back to a, a warm place <laughs> year round. Some of my favorite things about Madison are um, the hidden gems. Obviously those are things that happen when it's warm outside, um, but I really love, obviously I love the terrace. Um, I really love Willie Street um, and uh, um, Monroe, especially Barrique's coffee shop is wonderful. Um, and I love spending time around the Capitol. So like Collectivo coffee shop is a hot spot for me and um, just anywhere uh, around the Capitol, really. So um, I think that I like photography because um, it gives me an alternative way um, and lens to view the world. So um, I don't just walk outside and look right in front of me. I, um, it teaches me to look up and look down and notice different things about people. Um, and it's really changed my perspective and the way that I think. And I'm hoping that um, through using more um, you know, visual and um, creative um, aspects of my life that um, I can help others um, help change their perspectives and see and notice different things about the world. And I was kind of at a lull. I was like, everything that I'm doing is like cool and whatever, but I'm not, I don't really feel inspired. I don't really feel like I'm doing something to benefit the community. I don't really feel like, um, I don't really feel um, inspired or excited, um, maybe because of the winter, but also, I don't know, it was just kind of at a lull. And um, I had seen Humans of New York and really loved the idea of storytelling through photography and I also really loved the idea of just hearing people's stories not just people that are famous or usually in the spotlight but just like the everyday person I'm really interested in like street photography and like what goes on in general society um, so I decided to start Humans of UW-Madison um, really it was a it was a personal project it was just like it started to make me happier to like talk to strangers, meet people, um, hear their stories, and I became really surprised at the amount um, people wanted to share and their willingness to share their lives. Um, it was really fascinating, you know, meeting some people that um, didn't really expect a stranger to come up to you, um, and it really tested my boundaries. Um, so not, not specifically like it was all a selfish thing, but like it was really started for for my own um, you know feelings, but like became something that I feel like could really improve the community. Um, and um, so I hope that's what's happening. Studied I studied education and kind of um, realized like once I started I've been taking pictures for a long time, but once I started doing it more and. Um, in a, on a more consistent basis, I realized that um, that a lot of the things that I was learning were really connecting. Um, you know, thinking about people's you know mental and physical health, um, learning about people's differences and um, how to celebrate them, how to teach people that um, you know different is not is not bad. Different um, is just different from somebody else. Um, and I think art has the ability to show that because it's your own vision. So nobody can really come up to me and be like, I don't really like your photography or, you know, the way you edited that movie, uh, the way that you painted that picture, like, I didn't really like that. Like, obviously you can critique and, and, and criticize and, and, you know, constructively criticize, but it's your own vision and it's your own perspective. And so I think that that um, is a really powerful thing for people. Um, and I also think that it's a way for people who otherwise wouldn't be as vocal or um, don't feel as comfortable talking or telling their story, or maybe they don't have the ability to talk or tell their story. Um, art, art is a medium to do that, um, to be able to tell your story without 
verbalizing. Hard to pick a favorite, but one that was pretty impactful. Um, I tell the story a lot, but I was in a cab in Madison. Um, it was definitely in the winter because otherwise I would be walking places. And I started talking to the cab driver and he kept saying all these things like, we are all human. You know, and, and started telling me his story. And once it, once it kind of came out, he was like, I'm from Syria. Um, in the last year, like 10 of my family members have died. Um, he just like listed all of these crazy things that have happened to him. And he goes, but at the end of the day, humanity is beautiful. We're all human. We like, he just had this positive vibe that like, I was shocked because here I am like, like what's the worst thing going on in my life that like it's cold outside. Um, and it was really inspiring and helped me understand that like what I'm doing, which is essentially connecting with other people, um, is a really positive thing. And um, hope that like potentially our conversation struck up something in him that maybe, maybe, I don't know, I, I haven't seen him again, but like maybe he'll go home and maybe he'll tell his wife or a family member or a friend like hey I talked to this person and it really inspired me to blah 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 like I don't know I'm just hope that that something like that and it, it really inspired me so it's just kind of the connections that you make in the world that um, you don't realize can um, can spark an idea or just make you smile um, give you another perspective so I think that Madison has inspired me um, I think just the nature of being a capital city. I think that there brings along with it um, a really f a nice feeling of community. Like here we all are um, in this place that has a lot of influence on the rest of the state. And I don't know, right now the rest of the rest of the country, there's a lot going on here in Madison. Um, and so it's really inspired me that the people, I mean, the people are so kind. Um, I, it's been really inspiring to um, to just meet different people and learn why they're here. And I think that though there are a lot of people that grew up here, a lot of people come here for different reasons. And um, learning about that has kind of inspired me and made me feel like I'm a part of something else um, and not just alone in the world. I have no idea what's next, but I hope that I can continue this perspective that I've gained by being here um, and by um, the experiences that I've had with humans of UW-Madison. Um, I would love to do something that has to do with telling people stories. Um, I don't know in what way, but definitely in some creative way. Um, to get in contact with humans of UW-Madison, you need to whip out your smartphone or your computer and we are on um, a bunch of different social media um, networks. We are on Tumblr, we are on Instagram, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook. Um, and you can connect with us there, you can message us, you can email us, um, and um, continue to hashtag and post Humans of UW Madison so that we can share your story also. The whole point is to get the community um, working together and